Our goal is to develop a deep understanding of the biology of aging in the skin so that we can improve skin health for the aging population. There is an increasing uh, aging population globally and Asian skin is different from Caucasian skin and it ages differently in the context of wrinkling, uh, sagging, skin thinning, age-related skin disorders or pathologies and hyperpigmentation. There's a lot of things that can influence aging, lifestyle, genetics, um, our diet. So it's really important to study aging um, in an Asian population in the context of Asia uh, in somewhere like Singapore. So SRIS has a, a coordinated aging program where we're really taking multiple approaches to understand the aging process in human skin. We work very closely with the Asian Skin Biobank to, to develop sophisticated 3D aging models. Oliver Driessen is working on identifying and characterizing aged or senescent cells within the skin. And then Sophie Bellinger is working on keratinocytes, which is the major cell type within the skin, to try and identify molecules that can actually promote the stemness of these cells so they can be used as, as anti-aging molecules. So the polyamines have been shown to be essential for the formation of a healthy skin barrier. So my group is looking at a group of metabolites called polyamines to try and understand what their role is in skin uh, pathologies um, and related disorders. So Stress has a number of very successful collaborations with companies to try and bring some of this basic fundamental understanding of skin biology to something that's useful to patients in the clinic or consumers. We've had a program uh, in collaboration with P&G and we've been working with L'Oreal for years now. The value really comes from the matching of resources and capabilities. For example, with Sophie, she brings another element of expertise and knowledge that are very complementary. Based on what we've learned from Sophie's research, um, on new directions and identifying new technologies, new models, new assays. So it's helped fuel our R&D program. Um, it's a little bit more behind the scenes, but again, down the road, that's gonna come to fruition. Um, in terms of our business. We've had the privilege of working with SRIS, and generally what we do is we are addressing fundamental questions of skin aging. We've been able to address not just very, very advanced scientific concepts, but also concepts that have an ability to be converted to a product concept. And I think the ability to do both in a collaboration has been a real strength of working with SRIS. Stress brings together clinicians, biologists and engineers to develop a very deep understanding of the biology behind skin and skin aging. And then we work with companies to translate what we find into something that's useful to patients in the clinic and to consumers.